This is absolutely crazy. This stock moved up 195% in a single day intraday. But I do have a stock at the end of this video that I believe could make a similar move due to the catalyst coming up, the price targets that were given, and the setup. This stock is very similar to the stock that moved 195% at the end of the video. Now, let's talk about ticker ATXI. Hit a high of $4 per share. $3.33 right now, 5 million market cap. This stock was highlighted in the title of the previous video. Remember that one where I stated the short interest increased by 1800% and they were planning to buy back millions of shares. And that is exactly what took place. I covered it at $2.43 on Friday. It was one of the biggest runners on the day. It hit over $4 per share. They did their ATX share buybacks. You can see in a PR on October 14th, uh, you know, this was a company that covered the share buybacks. They repurchased 388,000 shares for $3 million. And they basically put that in a filing that that did take place. We were able to load this one up in the discord on October 13th at around 11 a.m. Eastern time, an entire day before that 60% move it made. We added ATXI down there at the bottom and it ran significantly the next day. So basically overnight, we were able to get 70% from that alert. And if you were, and it did actually take off pre-market. You can see this yellow box right here. It, if you got in, if you watched that video, had the notification bell on, got in, it absolutely soared if you can trade pre-market and Moom allows you to trade pre-market and after hours, you can get these stocks at a much lower entry before the Robin Hood crowd start to pour in. And with longer trading hours, you'll have more potential market opportunities and you can access the market on your own schedule with Moomoo. And Moomoo is giving 15 free stocks away if you sign up and deposit valued up to $2,000 for every 15 of these stocks each stock out of 15 you get it for potentially two thousand dollars per stock absolutely incredible promotion that they're running right now and you get institutional tracking that allows you to see what the billionaires are loading up so you can load up with these billionaires and make a ton of money in the stock market with them there was a filing poster that stated atxi bought back three million dollars of shares from invagen at a price of seven dollars and 71 percent or 71 cent per share. And the stock is only sitting at around three bucks. This filing got more retail into the stock, helped move it higher. And it's always very bullish when a company is buying back shares at a higher price than the current price per share because they do believe it's undervalued at that current price per share. There was 55 million volume on ATX on Friday, and the float is only 1 million. That means the entire float was traded 55 times over. If you're new and don't know what float is, the float is the amount of shares that are available to be publicly traded on the stock market. For, for it to be traded 55 times over, that is not normal for a low float. This may have been further buybacks coming in, or this could have just been, you know, institutional investors. It, it doesn't seem like this was only retail alone buying up this stock. It could have been much more. This is pure speculation, but they recently posted a PR where the FDA is reviewing ATXI's product for possible FDA approval. Since they are since they are buying back shares, there's a slight chance that we that they know something that we don't and that they could be getting close to FDA approval for their product. If that happens, that would be a highly positive impact on their price per share. And this may not happen, but with su such high volume, there could be something like a PR or some sort of news coming out that could impact the price because if they're loading up, then they want to be in for that big move. If you take a look at the chart, there's nice support at $3.18 per share. If we break below that, look to grab shares at stronger support at 275 and 230. But if we bounce from current support at 318, and break 450, the next resistance, there's a massive gap up to the upside at $6.24. And a nice press release could push ATXI much higher with the amount of volume that this stock is getting. Remember, the short interest of the float has risen 1,800% recently, and the cost to borrow is significantly high at 427%, meaning shorts have to pay a big fee to even short the stock. They may not want to short the stock and they may want to cover their position if this stock rises a lot higher from here. Next stock ticker LASE at 491 right now. This was covered in the previous two videos, initially at a dollar 87 per share. You can see right here, dollar 87. They've posted three PRs since that video, very strong PRs, 
and this is showing an upcoming catalyst of this month in one of the PRs. They posted they received an order from the US Navy. They're working with Coca-Cola Company, a multi-billion company. They announced explosive growth since the IPO took place. And I believe another PR will be posted this month that they completed their order from the US Navy and possibly give a number like in the million, if it's a million dollar order from the US Navy, for example, if they give us that number, it could be it could, this stock could have an even bigger move. You can see in the PR that they are planning delivery this month. There is room to the downside on ticker LASE before the PR drops. There's support at 428, 381, 345, three dollars even, and two dollars and fifty cents per share. But if this stock does continue on Monday and breaks five dollars per share, and if it breaks a, the all-time high of five fifty, there's literally blue skies ahead. Blue skies meaning it has to find it. It basically has to do price discovery to the upside because. It, it, there is no resistance past 550. And I would say, personally, I believe the downside will come before that US Navy PR where they complete their delivery. And we could get a nice move after that delivery takes place. Next tech ticker CTM. This is a ghost upless, formerly ONOV on the OTC, up 22% on the previous trading day. We covered it at $1.20 in the last video. We got a nice 50% jump pre market. If you can't trade pre market, get Moomoo right now, get those 15 free stocks. It was covered in the Discord. On October 13th, before this move, as the top pre market watch, and it did live up to those expectations, giving Discord members a 50% return on their investment. I still really do like CTM, and I believe we could be headed for $2 per share. I like buys at $1.33 support, and the floor to me is $1.20. They did their share offering to Opalus to NASDAQ, and that was at $2 per share for that offering. So at $1.43 after doing their offering at $2 per share, I do believe we are undervalued at these prices. The offering is expected to close on October 17th, which will be followed by a new PR. And once that new PR drops, it will be put on more people or more investors radars that the offering was $2 per share and we're under that $2 per share. And there was a ton of insider buys for CTM on October 12th. So keep an eye on ticker CTM. I do believe that this stock is potentially undervalued at the current levels. Now, ticker GEGI, they're closing in on an autonomous vehicle, potentially an autonomous truck acquisition very soon at 0.0049 per share, up 11% on the previous trading day at an 8 million market cap, tiny market cap, and a 300 million float. They stated their merger is soon to be announced, and I believe this can glide higher as we get closer, closer to that merger announcement. Now, this is very interesting right here. The CEO and the strategic advisor both have connections to the autonomous trucking company Enride, which has a multi-million dollar valuation. This trucking company, it's a big company. Enride has a new launch on November 2nd, and there is speculation that this could have something to do with GEGI. Now, it most likely won't have anything to do with GEGI, but there, if there is any connection between GEGI and Enride, I believe GEGI could go for another run leading up to that merger, and it did previously hit over two cents per share. If it gets back to that two cent level, obviously, that's a massive return on your investment from 0049. I believe we could get to at least a penny here, but if they dilute, because there is a risk of dilution here, if they do dilute GEGI, then it could fall. So that's a big risk here with GEGI. But if we get this merger, and if it runs up before the merger, I would be taking profit. So Remember, buy the rumor, sell the news. If it runs up before the news is announced, you probably want to be taking profit on the way higher, in my personal opinion. We have seen that these recent IPOs like ticker LASE have been getting massive pops once they hit their bottom. And the Hong Kong IPO, recent Hong Kong IPO that hit the market in July, I lag. It moved 195%, seemingly out of nowhere, getting that massive pop. And if you got in before this move, Obviously, it dropped after the move, but if you got in before that, you could easily took profit and made a significant return on your investment. You can see iLag is a Hong Kong IPO. This was a Network One financial IPO that also IPO'd Starbucks and MEGL. And I do have Starbucks, by the way, ticker STBX on my radar for a bounce soon as it continues to find its bottom. But this is not a Hong Kong play, although I do really like ticker STBX for a potential bounce as well. But what is a Hong Kong play and I believe could have a significant bounce from the bottom soon is ticker GCT Giga Cloud. I believe the absolute bottom here is $5 per share, but I already took a position at the current $6 per share 
level right now. It's at a 251 million market cap, but they do make a lot of revenue. This is a Hong Kong recent IPO, just like ILAG and Aegis Capital put a $26 price target on GCT recently. That gives GCT a potential upside of 356% and a head-to-head -head matchup between the company JMAI it, that, that has double its market cap. JMAI is double the market cap of GCT. It was found that GigaCloud is more favorable at these current levels per share, giving it a potential upside of 356% because of that $26 price target. Now, JD.com, a $66 billion Chinese company owns a 12% stake in GCT. So insiders have loaded up on this stock. They just posted 124 million revenue in quarter two, which was an 11% revenue increase. And they do make a lot of money. I do believe this, this could have an explosive move in the near future, but I do would not be surprised if it gets back down to the $5 per share level before making that move. But I will be grabbing more shares if it does get down there for the inevitable strong bounce higher. Make sure you drop a quick like on this video, comment down below what stocks you are watching this week. And that is it for me. Peace.